Hello and welcome to Model Minutes. Today's video is a quick review of the Airfix Hawker Hurricane Mark 1 in 170 second scale. Before we get started, I'd like to point out that this is the exact same tooling as the Hawker Hurricane Mark 1 starter set that I did a build and review video on, which I'll add the link for under the video. As a result, I'm not going to do a build video of this kit, as it is virtually identical and I built it in the same way. The only difference being that this kit comes with different decals and a slight variation of the paint scheme. The kit consisted of four sprues in grey plastic containing the majority of the components and one in clear containing the landing lights and cockpit canopy. The instructions consist of an A4 booklet which contain information about the actual Hawker Hurricane, safety warnings and general information about how to read the instructions and prepare the parts for assembly. A sheet of water slide decals are included and this is the primary difference between this and the starter set as the decals Airfix have provided are for a Hawker Hurricane Mark I of 85 Squadron Royal Air Force based in lille Seclin in France as part of the Advanced Air Striking Force during the Battle of France in May 1940. Inside this kit, you do not get the four acrylic paints, poly cement or paintbrush as originally included in the starter set and as a result, this is reflected in the price. At the time of this video, Airfix had these in stock on their website for £6.99 and I'll add the link under the video if you'd like to take a look. Overall, this is a great little kit, having the fine details and panel lines that we've come to expect from the newly released kits from Airfix. I did not struggle with any stage of this construction, perhaps it helped that I already had previous experience from my earlier build. I did however choose to use thinned Tamiya acrylic white instead of the suggested Humbrol 34 for the two tone black and white underside of the aircraft. The reason I made this change was because I'm not a massive fan of the Humbrol white and feel that the Tamiya version has a better flow quality and produces a better finish. I felt this was the right decision in the end as I'm pleased with the finished results. It's worth noting that this kit can result in one of two aircraft as Airfix have provided an extra identity code letter, so you could have two different aircraft from the same squadron if you bought two kits, rather than having duplicates. I have built the older Airfix Hurricane kit in the past, and this certainly has finer detail, a better fit, and improved accuracy to the original aircraft. I'm impressed with this new version of this iconic aircraft from Airfix, and more than happy with the finished results I've achieved with my Hawker Hurricane Mark I. Hopefully you found this review helpful, and as always, let me know what you think of my finished model in the comments below. I'm also keen to hear your suggestions as to other kits that you'd like to see me build on my channel, so feel free to post that too. All that's left to say is thanks for watching this video, and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe in order to see more content and help support the channel. And feel free to connect with me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. See you all again next time.